I suppose it's probably the awareness of what we have to go through, um, what the disease does to not only individuals but to families as well. Um, so it's about creating that awareness, raising as much money as we possibly can to ultimately find that um, that one goal and that's to, to one day just find a cure for cancer. Well, the motivation is, it's life, isn't it? It's, it's to keep living. Um, if, if you don't fight back against it, then, then there's nothing. So, Kylie, as a mum or lifelong carer, how did you cope with your whole experience? I think that it was almost autopilot to begin with. Um, Ashley just started kindergarten and Emily was at school. Rachel was about two. So it was just, yeah, we, I still had to go to work and kids still had to go to school and there was netball training and dance classes and stuff like that. So keeping busy was was something that was important, keeping the kids' routine the same as it was beforehand. I'm looking back at it, I'm not quite sure how we did it. Uh, we had a lot of friends, you know, cooking meals and, you know, get home and the house would be tidy and that sort of thing and had family come and stay and help out with the kids and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we definitely couldn't have done it without them. Um, and, yeah, I'm not quite sure how we did it. <laughs> and it was really hard for Em to see. That's it, because he'd never, he'd never been sick before, he didn't get anything, <laughs> never been sick with anything. So my first, my happened. first blood test. Yeah, so I never had a blood yeah. test before, never been sick, and then, yeah. Being my first year as a survivor, um, it was pretty special to be able to do it as a family and, and do that lap. Um, it's a hard lap to do, though. It, it is a hard lap, but it's a satisfying lap as well. Um, knowing that you are a survivor, and you, you think, Okay, I'm lucky to be able to achieve that um, because there was a possibility that I may not have been. I think watching Dale speak at the Hope Ceremony, was, especially the first year, was very hard, but it was also awesome. Like, it was so good to see him there and, you know, be able to tell his story and, you know, it was hard for the kids to watch and it was hard for us, but, you know, I think giving people hope is really, really important. That.